Okay. <clears throat> now, I just made this lemonade. And you can be my guinea pig, because I, yeah. I, have, I have a secret ingredient that I put in the lemonade that makes it different than the other lemonade you've ever had. Okay? I, 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 I was just thinking that I really wanted something cold. I know. Mm -hmm. I always know what you're thinking. Thanks. This. So, what's the verdict? Paul Newman has nothing over my lemonade. <laughs> Perfect, like my wife. You know, Lucy's going to come over. Did I tell you that? She is? Yeah. I know. I'm trying to be nicer to her. I, I, I'm working on that. Well, you, you, you'll get a chance because she'll be here in about half an hour. Okay. I was thinking of going over to see Felicia. She must be going a little batty up in that attic. <sighs> Maybe you're just trying to avoid Lucy, huh? Would I do that? I just want to make sure that Felicia's okay, that's all. In that case, I think it's a very good idea. I think you should go. You're not trying to get rid of me, though. You know, it's it's getting late. There you go again. Well, it's just that you said you wanted to see Felicia. If you're worried about me and Lucy, I I I, I will be nice to her. I, I just want to check on a few things. I want to make sure that she's uh, you know getting enough sleep, that she's eating properly, that she's not you know um, getting drunk or something stupid like that. I'm sure that she'll be thrilled that you're patrolling her life. <laughs> well, you know, you got to be on your guard with her. That's all I, I've learned that. You know, maybe you can just start guarding her tomorrow. Because this afternoon, I would really like to have just a, just a nice, quiet time with her. Okay? Yes, I get the hint. And I will miss you. Well, it's a little late to kiss up to me now. I don't think it's ever too late, do you? I think you're right. Mm. Mm. Okay, I'll see you. Okay. You just tell Lucy that, uh, you know, I was... Oh. Tell Lucy what? Hey, 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 what's the matter with you? You look Nothing. like hell. Oh, thank you very much. I just happened to run all the way over here and up the stairs, that's all. Look at you. You're panting like a dog. Scott. Well, thank you very much. Aren't you quite the gentleman? Well, I decided just now that I probably am a little bit out of shape, and I'm going to go to exercise class first thing in the morning. No, you're not. You're not going to go to exercise class. You've got to go to the doctor first and get everything checked out. You can't just jump into some sort of exercise program. Didn't he say he was just leaving? Yes, yes. No, no, wait a minute. You can't just pass over this thing lightly. We've got to talk about this. Scott, you know what? You're absolutely right, and Lucy and I will deal with this. Yes, you can put your little pea brain to rest. Wait a second, girls. Wait a second. I want to be a part of this. I, I don't think that... that no, it's not a good idea. It really isn't. <clears throat> okay? Okay? Okay. Mm. I love you. I love you, too. <laughs> Men... He's just concerned. He's not concerned, Dominique. He is obsessed. Well, he does have a point about the exercise. I know that. I do. I promise. I don't want to lecture you anyway. Thanks for getting here so quick. Oh, no problem. Um, what is it? What do you need? Um, just a favor. Sure, you know that. Anything. There's some things I need to take care of, uh, right away. And I need you to help me. You know, for the longest time, I was thinking that I wanted to leave something for Scott. Something that would be really special and a part of me. So, uh, I ended up finishing that poem. You know, that, that really is a beautiful gift. I just really wanted him to know how much he's loved. That he always will be. That he'll never be alone. I want you to give this to him after I'm gone, okay? Here, we have letters for the baby. 
I, I, I was trying to think of as um, many special occasions as I could, like special birthdays or, or um, first tooth, <laughs> <laughs> different emotions. I, I, I wrote letters f for these emotions, like oh, maybe when she's angry or when she's really sad. So um, that really, um, that's, a, that's a lovely idea. It is. <sighs> I thought it might help her, you know, have a, have a sense of who I am. And how much I love that little life that's growing inside you. So, do you think maybe you could help Scott read them when that time comes? Oh, yeah. Of course I can. Uh, you sure are making me feel special by trusting me with this, you know. Um, it's almost like you're treating me like a member of your family. It's because you are a family to me, Lucy. Okay, that's enough of that. I uh, didn't wear my waterproof mascara today. <laughs> I probably didn't either. Okay, I am counting on you, okay? You've got to tell her everything you can remember about me. Everything, what I liked, what I didn't like, what a funny cook I was, you know. <laughs> that's some of the, the, the things we've done together. You've got to remember everything. Well, okay? most importantly, um, I really, I, I want to tell her how much you're loved. Please tell her that. I think it's important that she know as much personal history as possible. Give her a, a sense of who she is, you know? Right. I, I gather that's why you, you chose Lee as the middle name. He's going to be her only granddad. That connection is very special. Especially since um, she's only going to know one parent. So... These are yours now. Okay. I'll make sure. Okay. Well, um, you know what? I had this idea. Uh, I, I don't know if you're going to like this, but I was thinking, wouldn't it be wonderful if you could make a videotape of yourself and, and, it, and give it to her, you, you know, so then she'd have some sense about you. It sounds like a nice idea. It's, it's... See, I don't know if that'd be wise. I mean, it seems like it might be a little selfish, you know? What do you mean, selfish? Well, wouldn't that be like asking our baby to live in the past? No, Dominic, I really don't think so. I think it'd be like giving her a little piece of yourself. I mean, you want her to have uh, emotions and, and, and share things with you. I mean, she could even see if she looks like you. I think it's a wonderful idea. I've noticed lately that we've been referring to the baby uh, almost exclusively as she. <laughs> well, maybe it's because we want Scott to have to deal with a little girl and boys coming to the door and, you know. Yeah. I can just see this. A, a permanent place wrapped around her little finger. Exactly. Mm -hmm. Now, look, I'm not, you know, trying to put pressure on you or anything. I just think it would be a wonderful idea. I mean, your daughter would be able to see you and, and it sense you and, and feel you. I mean, it would be a part of you that she could hold her whole entire life. Well, do you have any idea how to operate a video camera? Oh, piece of cake. <laughs>